Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week 7. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I uh listen the last week we went 1 and 2. Oh yeah, back. you're going to say sorry. I'm 1 and 3. I fucking yeah, suck. We've learned I suck. We've grown to expect that from you, so it's not a big deal. I'll still win this year. What happened was Guarantee. I had a 3 and 0 card. It was ready to go. Snacks comes in, we start talking, we're chit-chatting. He convinces me to not take the uh, Rams because the Giants are going to keep it close. He gives me this whole story. He lays out, he turns his phone off, he says, sit down, i got to tell you a story. Tells me this whole story about how the Giants are going to cover, and they'll keep it real close. They'll, they'll be getting blown up. They'll come back at the end, whatever, right? So I changed my pick. I got off, of the, got off of the Rams game, head over to the Panthers game, we lost. So, sorry, I'll never listen to Snacks again. I'll never let him get in my head. That's on me. That's that on is me. on you. It's not on and, me. Um, that's why I got this peasant robe on, not this jersey. Also, before we get started, I would like to say that uh, Broncos made a huge mistake starring Teddy Bridgewater. You know I'm a big Broncos fan, and I was a supporter of Drew Locke, obviously. So I just want to get that out there. It was always Locke. It was always Locke. You actually legitimately, like, you take the Bronco jersey it's like off. like a Drew Locke dress. You look like Jesus Christ. Well, with, yeah, if I. Yeah. Like, and then you take the, yeah, you look yeah. like Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, what happened last week was one and two. So I'm a total of 11 and seven on the year, I believe. So it's not bad. We're still in it. We're going to get right this week. Snacks, what's your record? I don't need you to say it out loud for the camera. I don't remember. what It's, it's not good, people. It's not good. Six and 12, maybe, <sighs> which means I've won four games since week one. Oof. 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 All right. Well, you know, I'm what a we're second gonna half do? player. So we're going to get right right now. Pick one, coming at you. I got. It's not even my big lock, but it is a big lock. Mm, interesting. The Jets at the Patriots minus seven. We're taking the Patriots minus seven. It's simple. Uh, look, the Jets and the Patriots already played. They already played this year, and you know what the score was? You a know lot what the score to a, was? A lot it was to a twenty-five to six. I believe uh, Zach Wilson had four interceptions. I didn't maybe realize three. the Jets scored that game. I think it was two field goals. It's good offense. I think they kicked a field goal at the end of the game. I don't remember. All I know is a bloodbath, and I don't see how it's going to be any different. Mac Jones has been looking a little bit better every week. And, yeah, the Patriots have been, you know, hit or miss, but this is one of those games, the Patriots and the Jets, it's like a long-time rivalry, mainly for the Jets because the Patriots just blow them out of here. Yeah, and that's really going to continue. A, can't really call that a rivalry. That's going to continue. Bill Belichick versus rookie quarterbacks is undefeated. That's really where I'm going with this, and that's what I think would – what this makes this line so desirable. Minus seven. Lock it up. Jets, Patriots. So desi- one and oh. So desirable. One that's, and oh. That's a, that's a big word, animal. All right. Probably 0 and 1, so I'll start. Uh, Tampa Bay, Chicago, under 47 and a half. That's it? That's all you got? I mean, at this point, what the hell are you going to say? That right, anyone's exactly. going to be like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to convince anybody. Snacks, I think so. you make a good point this week. <laughs> but All right, so I, I will say. Real quick. I, I will say real quick, Chicago can't do anything offensively if they can't run the ball. And Tampa Bay, literally, they give up, I think it's 50 yards rushing a game. Tam- they, they're, it, I, it's going to be a bloodbath. 31-7, something like that. Chicago's not going to be able to score. Chicago's defense isn't awful. Antonio Brown's out. Gronk's out. Bucks defense may uh, Bucks offense may be slowed down a little bit, so we're gonna go under. I, I don't fucking know. All I right, think they probably score like ninety points. Come on. Yeah, no. Listen, I think it's um, it's probably a good pick. I'm gonna get to something something along those lines yeah, later. Okay. So uh, I got you. All right. Second pick coming at you. We are going to Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva! You ever been there? Vegas. You ever been there? No. I went once. Was it good? I was uh, like 18 months old. What'd you do? Don't give me the what happens. What'd you do? You fuck a hooker? I was you, 18 months. I don't even know if my dick could get hard. You gamble? I 18 months. I threw a little down on blackjack. You fuck a hooker? I don't do that. You play roulette? No, I don't play Red roulette. or black? Always red. What's your number? 26. 22. 
Look at that. All right. You know, so why, I, my, you know why my number's 26? It's your birthday. Yeah. Just a guess. Most people use lame shit like that all the time, so that's why I figured it must be a lame wad. Back to the pick. We're going to Las Vegas to the Raiders. Minus two and a half against the Eagles. We're taking the minus two and a half. Um, this might be minus three by the time you get to it. But listen, I'm sharp. I get it. I get to the lines early. So minus two and a half for me. So uh, minus three, I'm comfortable taking it too, though. I'm still comfortable because the Eagles are, uh, they're imposters. That's what they are. They're imposters. They're not a good team. They keep some games tight. Like last week, you saw the game against the Bucs. Great, great cover. But don't forget, don't forget Thursday night football. There's night football teams just come out. They play differently. That means both teams. One team plays better. The other team plays worse. And the Bucs were actually dominating them, really. So, like, whether it was a close game or not, it was still total domination from the Bucs. Uh, Raiders are hot right now. They're rolling. They just lost their head coach. They're, they they have that motivation now to just, like, you know what? We're going to keep doing this shit. We don't care because they just destroyed the Broncos, and I'm still getting over that. So, uh, why wouldn't they destroy the Eagles? Minus two and a half. Go ahead. I don't know what it says. I do this every time. What does that say? Uh, right? I have no It says Raiders 2. That's it. That's all I got. Wait, right? wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. I actually Does it say Raiders 2 snack? Is this the layup? Oh, yeah. I forgot about so that. So you're... you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah. I'm taking the Raiders minus two and a half. Dude! Raiders. <laughs> yeah, it said Raiders two snacks, which because that's my favorite like thing was, in the world. That was my Raiders. cue to say that. Yeah, what a botch! Oh, <laughs> what do you expect when you when you're watching this show? So, all right, Raiders two and a half. That picks that's one and one. Great pick. Love the Raiders. We're one and one. It's my favorite team. Um, pathetic. in a Broncos jersey too. Hey, what are you gonna do? Pathetic. <laughs> Money's green. Solidarity. Okay. I stand with Drew Lock. I'm gonna go to Tennessee. And after watching their last performance and how they've played recently, I don't know how you cannot make Derrick Henry the MVP of this league because he's unstoppable. I concur. I, I, I was just talking about a rush defense in Tampa Bay. I'm pretty positive he would go over 100 yards against Tampa Bay. I mean, 100 yards is Derrick's, Derrick's floor. floor. It's minimum. Floor. Floor. And they're at home catching four and a half points. They're underdogs by four and a half points against a Chiefs team, which... I don't know. Do they impress you? No, they suck. They're the worst team in the division, probably. They, uh... <laughs> be an argument made about that. But anyway, they're getting the points because of Patrick Mahomes, and he's really good. Yeah, I get it. Awesome. But you know what happens when you run the football really well? You keep the opposing offense off the field. Four and a half points. Tennessee. Played him tight last year. We're taking Tennessee at home. Plus four and a half. Derrick Henry. I love, MVP. I love Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is one of my favorite. He's a great ball player. We were talking earlier on the show if we could pick one running back to start a franchise and of all, all time, of all time, Derrick Henry is probably the guy you take. And if you disagree, f- you. Yeah, we we won't listen to your opinion. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, heartburn. That mm. bacon, egg, and cheese. I had a bacon, egg, and cheese Welcome before the world, show. Buddy. I was gonna save half of it for like a prop, but I ate it. That's how you've lost all that weight. Uh, I'm not sure what you're what you're looking at. Let's head over to the other studio for the underdog uh, play of the day, sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Is it? Thanks, guys. So today we got a wonderful selection for you. I have. Oh, actually, you could use these picks on UnderdogFantasy.com or download the app Underdog Fantasy and uh, three times your money. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, three times. All right, so my pick is Justin Fields under 232 and a half total yards. We were taking that under because I just don't think he's that good, and those that's a lot of yards for him. And uh, the, the Bucks are pretty good defense. So you like the under? I like the under. But you like the under in the game. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go Chuba Chuba Hubbard. Is that how you say his name? Chuba Bubba. Chuba Bubba under 74 and a half yards rushing. One, he stinks. I know he's going up against bad defense. That's Chuba Hubba, but he sucks. And he's going to go under 74 and a half yards. Yes. So you bet on that. And it's three times your money. Three times. Yep. Three times. Three times your money. Uh, last week we lost this. Back to you guys in the studio. Whatever, whatever. Thanks, guys. Coming back. Thanks for the studio. Shit. I fucked this up. This whole, this coat was supposed to, for the big lock. This, this coat was supposed to be because, like, going to Chicago is cold. Get your winter jackets. The game's in Tampa. 
Tampa can get cold sometimes. I'm going to roll with it anyway. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Thanks for those underdog picks. Yeah, it was nice of you guys. Uh, Yeah. Shit, this jacket's throwing me off. This is such You're in a- your own head, man. Shit, guys. Well, Did you hear that sound? Nope. There it is again. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not hearing it. Oh, it's. I think it's time for the big locks. Lock. I, Show's going downhill. With one jacket. You put one. You put one. One jacket, one jacket on. on. When you think the game's in Chicago. And it's not. It's in Tampa. I'm taking the Bucks at minus 11 and a half against the Bears. If you haven't noticed already. Um, look, I had this whole spiel about, about the, the, you know, the Bucks are going to go in with their winter jackets for the cold weather, and that's going to protect them, and it's not going to matter. They're going to just brush off that windy, uh, windy, the windy city, city energy, and it won't matter. But the game's in Tampa. They're, they're drinking <laughs> Miami Vices, and, and they got Wearing short sleeves and shorts. Yeah, Hawaiian shirts and Speedos. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the Bucks minus 11 and a half. They're clearly the better team here. Obviously, you saw them last week play a tight, against, uh, tight game against Philly. It's going to be a totally different case now. They got the extra rest. You know what means when Tom Brady has rest? It's bad for the other team. That's probably what it means. I, didn't, I don't have a, a number on my card. I can't even read anything I write down, so it's not like it would matter. 34 and 6. I really looked at 34. Are you shitting me? I have no idea. <sighs> Dude, just roll with that. I would have bought that 100%. But that number doesn't even probably add up to all his buys. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Tom Brady off of the bye week, 34 and 6. He's been playing for like 40 years. All right. But anyway, Bucks minus 11 and a half. This is a huge lock. The, the thing is here, Justin Fields is not going to be able to to even score in like garbage time to, to like backdoor this. So you like the under? Uh, yeah, you took the under, I guess. But I think the Bucks could score like 45 by themselves. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Bucks, minus 11 and a half. Big lock. You can par all of these picks for some money. Let's, I, I think we're about to have a... You all right? Heartburn. It's good. You all right, Jesus? It's good. I think we're about to have a first in Bagels and Locks history. Our big locks are both involving spreads that are 10 plus points. Oh, double digits. Double digits. Double digit big locks. We are going to Los Angeles where the Rams play the Detroit Lions. Two old foes. Well, they're not really old foes. Two, uh, I guess you could say, old friends on each team. Jared Goff, little revenge game. We're going Lions plus 17. I know. I picked them last week and they got <laughs> they got They got piss pounded. But they were home. And they hate playing at home because their fans hate them because they've been so bad for so long. So they're going to go to L.A. And they're going to play the Rams, and they're going to cover 17 points. I think McVay is not going to want to run the score up because he feels really bad about Jared Goff and how that whole situation ended. Jared Goff's pretty. But I think Jared Goff is going to have to play well, and I think he's going to want to play well in front of his old team and coach and, and, and organization and everything like that. And I also think Matt Stafford loves Detroit no matter what. He asked out, which, as he should have, they mutually parted ways. I don't yes. think he's going to want to embarrass his former team yes. that he spent 10 Plus great years at. So we're taking the Lions plus 17. They got a cover game eventually. And That's, I think they do it on Sunday. That today. is the narrative there for that game. Perfectly laid out. You're not going to have Matt Stafford want to go in there and throw seven touchdowns against Detroit and like f- celebrate. I don't think he's going to embarrass him. Pumping his fist yeah. running off the field. It's just a bad look he's a, for he's him. He's a good guy. He's yeah. a charitable I mean, listen, man. If he does it, you're not, it's not like a... Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, like what a dick. But like, yeah. I just don't think he's going to want to do right. that. Like, I think they'd rather like... Hand it off to yeah to Darrell, you know, to like Darrell Sonny Henderson Michelle, not or something yeah, just like run the know. clock out. yeah so that's a great pick might be the only pick of yours that hits uh, let's see we we'll see if we bounce back this week that's the show please comment please like please uh, comment your big locks uh, please do. down below I love looking was, at oh, your picks there was picks. one comment I wanted to shout out for but of course I, I didn't look before yeah the show we know crazy. we know you went like five and zero oh. yeah, it was really about good. time someone yeah, it was good does something good also. We're taking a we're taking a big dog pick of the week next week. Please send oh, them in. Yes. Bagelslocks at gmail.com. Please send in your big dog pick of the week. Maybe we'll do two. I don't know. If, f- if you don't have Show's it, going off the rails. If you don't <laughs> if you don't have an email, you could send it via direct message on Twitter. No, f that. Okay. Don't Bagels do that. and locks. Don't do that. Bagels and locks. Yeah.